Hello, again. Out pigeon shooting, again. On a rape field, again. Protecting wheat behind me, again. Well, I'd already set up once this morning, but things didn't feel right. Um, I set up and the wind changed direction completely, so I've come from that rape stubble field there to this one here. Now I've had five, six in about the last five, ten minutes. Um, but what they're doing now, they're pitching further down in the field. I don't want to move again. Um, so hopefully I can get... I should have brought some bags, really. Put some bags on some sticks. What I have done before, because things ain't quite working, and they're pitching in where I don't want them to pitch. I've actually got my whirly set up. Some carrier bags on my whirly. And I've either put them down the opposite end of the field or in another field. Um, just to try and get them off of there to land them a pattern. So, I may have to resort to that, yeah. Now I always use a, a three-shot semi-auto when I'm pigeon shooting. Always have done, always loved them. Now I've had this one for nine years now. It was second hand when I bought it. It's been an absolutely brilliant gun. Still, still pretty good. Um, it's the Beretta AL390 Silver Mallard. Now I've got my eyes on a, a the Beretta A400 XL, the black, the black edition one. Very nice gun. Now I've got um, Dennis Stepney of UK Gun Repairs because he's based down in Somerset with me as well. Absolutely brilliant at what they do, uh, real friendly, you know, what they don't know about guns ain't worth knowing, not really. Um, so they, they're gonna, they're trying to source one for me now. So hopefully by the time I get out again, I'll have a nice new shotgun. <laughs> do you know what, you can never predict how pigeons are gonna behave. Um, I'm sat here watching them. Now I've started off, and I always start off with about 40 plastic decoys. Um, I like to give the impression that there's something good going on. Bit of a pigeon party, you know bring your friends and all that um, but you often see you'll get one lone pigeon he'll land I don't know in the corner of a field or down over there somewhere and that will attract it seems to, I don't know why it seems to attract more and more pigeons going in um, so maybe we ought to just start with one decoy who knows It's a bit warm today. When you're running after prick pigeons in this heat, yeah, makes you sweat a little bit. Now I've got two dogs. I've got Rosie. She's 13. I've kind of retired her now because she's too old. Um, this heat will kill her. Uh, and I've also got a nice young seven-month-old Springer Spaniel called Poppy. Now I haven't brought her out yet. Too young. I don't want to rush things. Um, I might bring her out over the next few weeks. Just picking up dead pigeons might hide one under a bit of straw or in a hedge or something but um, I've made a mistake before I'm trying to rush dogs don't rush dogs let them mature a bit first you know get a bit of you know they need to get a bit sort of sensible really um, so hopefully by next year we'll have Poppy in action I like a bit of history. I've just eaten a Scotch egg. And I've just googled the origins of Scotch eggs. And apparently, according to Culinary Delights of Yorkshire, they originated in Whitby, which is in Yorkshire, in the 19th century, and were originally covered in fish paste rather than sausage meat. Sounds nice. They were supposedly named after William J. Scott and Sons, which is a well known eatery which sold them. There you go. So it's got nothing to do with Scotch or Scotland. They were made in England. Yeah.
One nil to us. Love a bit of trivia and general knowledge, me. You know, I was going from work. Whack tipping point on the telly. Then the chase straight after. Sit down, that's my two hours after work, chilling out, doing nothing. Um, we'll always end up shouting at the telly, watching tipping point. How many people on there don't know when to press the button to drop the counter? Well, did you know? There's about a thousand varieties of banana. And we generally only eat one. Really variety is called the Cavendish. Now, that's like Sean Connery banana. Cavendish. Hmm. Give me a Cavendish. I'm going to go uh, tidy up my dead birds, I think, because there's a few belly up. And it seems to be putting a few of the birds off coming in, so don't go away. I'll get fit.